Hey guys, Josh here with Planet Chinchilla, and I wanted to come to you today with this quick video, um, and this is a perfect first frame for it. Um, the question I keep seeing is how to get your chinchilla in and out of the cage. Um, what you just saw, that's rare. Don't bank on that happening. <laughs> she just put herself back in there um, without being prompted. She's just out here uh, messing around during her playtime right now. Um, yeah, but what you just saw, well, and she's letting herself out of the cage too. But regardless, question of the day is how to get these guys in and out of the cage, which I completely understand that it can be a total pain in the rear in the beginning to get these guys in and out of the cage. Sometimes uh, they just want to hide in that little nesting box inside the cage. Um, they act stubborn, nothing like she's acting right now with getting in and out by herself. But here's the biggest tip of the day. Open the door. They will come out if you have a, a safe area that they can interact in and play without chewing on cords and all of the normal dangerous things that you need to proof for. Opening that door to the cage is about all you need to do once they trust you to get them out. They will come out um, kind of at their own pace. Forcing it, I guess, is okay um, once you're further along with how long you've owned them. If I would have tried that in the beginning with her, wouldn't have been good. Um, but it's been four years now, so I have a little bit more cushion to push the limits with things like that with her because the trust is there. I, I honestly have no idea why she's being so gracious to put herself back in the cage so easily today. Um, she must have just known I was making this video and wanted to make my life easy. But nonetheless, um, that is how you get them out of the cage. Now the biggest question is how do you get them back in, which you have quite a few options with this. Um, none of them are necessarily fun if you have a stubborn chinchilla, but one of the easiest ways is to use the dust bath, which I have an enclosed container. I don't know how good you guys can see the green um, dust bath container in there. But that is one way. Once they go into the dust bath, uh, simply use the dust bath to place them back in the cage. You can also use a travel carrier with some treats in it. Um, mine's up there quite a bit away from where I'm actually shooting this video right now. So you probably can't see it very well. And then you could just leave the door open. Um, if, depending on how far into this you are. They may just go back in when they're ready, kind of like what she's doing now. This is kind of indicating to me that she is about done for the day. Which, if I go over here, I bet she's going to want to come back out. Because that's what chinchillas do. Um, they don't like to always do exactly what you need them to do, or they like to be a little more frustrating. But they will go back in if they are that ready, if they get out enough. I mean, if this is their first time ever getting out of the cage, it's probably going to take a little bit to get them back in but they might be excited a little overstimulated and just want to explore but she's been in this basement so many times that she probably doesn't have that same kind of curiosity she knows what's down here she does like coming out to play but she's pretty easy to get back in there because when she's done she's done um and that's basically it i mean she'll let me just shut this now she's back in there it's not that big of a deal if she wants to scoot her face back for me that'd be awesome and that's all there is to it um clearly i understand that some of you have more struggles than this with it and there's that travel cage again guys if you guys didn't see it before you could use something like that or you could simply pick them up um i didn't need to pick her up on this video so i didn't but i could have if she was just you know sitting down here by this rug you can pick them up as long as you're doing it correctly and just put them back in the cage there's nothing wrong with doing it that way um as far as everything else, when it comes to figuring these guys out in the beginning, I highly, highly recommend that you just um, start with my PDF downloadable ebook, which I'll put the link in the description below um, for the cup or the price of a cup of coffee. I mean, you guys can have all this information, all my tips and tricks, recommendations right down to your mobile device or your computer. It's a six chapter, over 100 page book that you guys can read that takes you from the adoption phase on. Um, it's a great starting point. If you're a beginner with these guys, I highly recommend doing it. Put a lot of time into it. So um, clearly we appreciate it if you do. It shows the support to the Planet Ch Chinchilla community here. Um, and feel free to use discount code NEWCHINS50, N-E-W-C-H-I-N-S 50 for 50% 50 off. You just enter that at checkout and it will uh, make the price of the book $3.49 instead of $7.00. 
but I will continue to make these videos, giving you guys more information about how to deal with these guys when you're new at it. And we appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you like, subscribe down below, and we will see you next time.